Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fable Hame and Area Chronicle. We resume our journey. We were left the last time, and we have some science to conduct. So, if you have been here for a while, you may remember this. It's time for the return of Mist Over Shenanigans Area Chronicle Edition. And I was sitting here for a while doing some science, doing some thinking, which is probably going to delay what time this video goes up. Sorry about that. But, um, it will be there for you, I promise. So, Colin the Apparator. I do believe he'll be leaving us soon-ish. He's like a quest line character. But the Apparator is available as an actual class. It just has a few modifications. It doesn't have control demons. It's Colin only thing, etc, etc. Of course, I don't know for sure. Maybe Colin will be with us for the rest of the game, which would be nice. Because then I don't have to unequip his stuff. But, I did a few things. First of all, he now has the Mithril Sword that Anthony was wielding because Anthony doesn't do a whole lot. Well, I also crafted the Ancient Battery. This was a token from the Ancient War Machine that we got out of the Dragon's Mouth. It is an orb. Make his magical attack plus two, get attack power plus one, which increases every turn. However, this accumulation will stop if you take damage. Now, I'm not sure if it stops and then resets or just stops permanently in which case this is probably really not good for a frontline character but hey the other orbs provide magical damage and healing power and ultimate charge rate of course which if this actually just stops legitimately uh, it's probably worth just for the recharge rate but the apparitor does not actually do magic damage except for with guilty verdict which we actually haven't used at all so we might investigate some talent changes but uh, it's an option in case we do use it so everything else is physical damage. So the magic damage from the orbs is not that helpful, and of course the Apparitor has no healing. So the healing power is not helpful. I figured we'd do something that's at least a little bit helpful. And you may see that Manila has joined us. Our level 7 charmer, which is not our level 5 charmer, Priya, but she's a charmer. And the reason here is because I was discussing with the Lone Ranger in the chat, how we can lean all the way into the Apparitor. And the Charmer is a remarkable buffer that we have not made much use of. She has, of course, the Brave Incense, which can give attack power, effect chance, and harmful effect resistance to one of your allies. She can also, while she can dance, which is a concentration for, I think, three turns, two or three turns, all allies will get attack power plus three, accuracy plus 10, crit rate plus five, Crit power plus 30 until the dance is finished. And uh, she's here in the front line with good old Colin, and you might be wondering why. I'm going to see how effective this concentration is. When you concentrate, you gain attributes. Evasion plus 30%, harmful effect, resistance plus 30%. Uh, her other talent is predation. Whenever an ally falls into a coma, recover 8 MP. We don't actually need this for what we're about to do. <laughs> but uh, I might as well just keep it. I thought this could be funny because, of course, Kadia can put anyone she wants into a coma at any given time with uh, Dark Passenger, so, you know, free mana, why not? And proficiency, use items to have a 100% chance of gaining AP plus 1, will be activated once per round. I mentioned last time how items are really good in this game, so why not have some incentive to use them? Of course, one of her upgrades I think is really important. She has this really weird skill where this is an attack. But it will do one of three things. It'll always do 100% physical damage, but it will... It could roll poison, it could roll bleed, or it could destroy armor, which I think is minus two. Maybe it's actually just destroy it, which would be pretty cool. But you can upgrade it here to make it so that it has... It will always break two armor and have a 75% chance of inflicting poison and bleed. An enemy will take neutral damage plus 50% each turn. Ignores armor. So I think that's a pretty vital upgrade if you plan to use her offensively. We, however, are going pure defense. That, of course, involves the Robe of Light. Great, great item that we can craft now. I borrowed the cowboy boots from good old Yao because our goal here is to give her as much evasion as possible. She has 11% evasion baseline right now. While dancing, that'd be 41. And, of course, Anthony can provide Mirage to make that 71. The Rainbow Belt, because it's awesome. And the Ring of Nature, because it's a placeholder. Now, today... We're going to start off, as I mentioned, with some science. And that's because I have a few, I have another idea that involves a warrior. This is my own alteration to the build. 
But, um, there's an item. We've looked at this before. The Crown of the Nest Queen. This is an accessory that gives plus 20 max HP and MP, max armor plus 2, and healing received plus 20%. Long and short, it's good. And we are going to obtain it today. Additionally, we're going to get the health skin. This is... Armor. Area is currently wearing it. It gives max HP plus 30, max armor plus 2, mental control minus 20. Ignore that. And debuff resistance plus 30. This is going to be for good old Colin or our future Apparator because he is currently wearing this. All right, I think that's all the introduction. Let's go have some fun in the arena. Now, this is a this is a pure single target build because I uh, have zero faith in its ability to do much AOE damage. Of course, it can do some. Anthony is here. Arya is here. Kadia is here. But not a whole lot. And as you can see, basically every opponent we fought before is level 6. So we do have the level advantage, which is quite powerful in this game, as we've learned the hard way. So, let's have some fun. And let's fight the... Let's get the crown first. Crown first, which is you. Goodness, Queen. Oh, you may have spotted it. But on the map, we have a level 8 quest in the forest. And that is to fight the genie. The time will soon come. We will get to beat that bastard. And I am so looking forward to it. There goes the... Okay. So it looks like it'll just reset whenever I take damage. That's good, that's good. As for uh, what we do turn 1... <clears throat> give me that. Give me, give me, give me. And I'm also going to abuse the power to try and prevent blinds and all sorts of weird shenanigans. Oh, we have an ultimate charge. So we can give all allies the effect of the mysterious incense, which might not be bad. But I think I'm going to open up with Insect Swarm, which is going to be pretty terrifying for everything involved. Myself, potentially included. Let's get this brave incense going. I basically just want Colin to smack the big queen. That's it. That's the goal here. We'll apply Mirage to our very vulnerable lady. These are weak to fire and lightning, so I do want to element a weapon. I could even try and... Let's see, I need to do that, do that. Meh. I definitely need to remove the blind. Okay, I should probably haste for now. We'll haste Arya because I need her to do a number of things right now. First and foremost, uh, this. Good. Secondly, we could do some bibbidi bobbidi zapping, which could be hilarious, but I think... Oh, wait, I need a second. I don't know if I want to immediately go straight into the Dark Passenger. So, we're probably going to do some debuffing here. I'm not quite sure how, though. <laughs> it could corrode the front line. That's not very helpful, though. They are not weak to darkness. There's no point in dark weapons. Let's just maledict the queen and see if we can... Oh, that's helpful. <laughs> Thanks. And now we're going to go ahead and pop Storm of Locusts. This will do lots of great things. Bleed, blind, fear. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, you love to see it. Good dodge, good dodge. Wow, fear proc three out of four times. Wow. Bleed, poison, burn, frostbite, electrocute, blind, sully, debuff, confuse, sleep, fear, stun. Do I think... Where's the turn order? Oh, I can extend those. Okay, I'm not going to eat them yet. Which was a thought that I had. <laughs> These have one buff, so interrogate might be interesting. I can steal poison weapon? Not horribly. Look at this damage, though. Holy crap. I'm giving her an AP. Oh, I ruined it. I gave her an AP. Uh, which caused her turn to go before Kadia, so I couldn't extend it. 
But I also did a monumental amount of damage. So there's that. Uh, oh, 80% ultimate recharge rate. Hello. Uh, time to war dance. I should have a lot of evasion now. 71% while dancing. It's a lot of evasion. I think I'm going to kill the front line. Or try to. Ah, they're dead. Let's go in. In we go! Now they're super dead. Wait, you resisted the electrocution? Wow. Alright. Can I steal this? I, I stole... <laughs> I stole Hive Mind. Yo, that's mean. That was mean. Pretty effective, though. I think this went well, all things considered. I was never really afraid of anything. Priest only armor, hello. We do have a priest. I reluctantly tell you. Uh, so the other one I wanted was the Pit Fee Lord. We need this for the armor. Oh, I should have just gone in. The whole reason I did <laughs> the whole reason I did the B first was so I could go back and get well, whatever, whatever. If I control demon. Let's see what this does. Now this could be hilarious and just sit there. Or it could just be kind of a waste. Guess we're about to find out, huh? Also, I was thinking with this group composition for like single target bosses. The uh, ultimate we could use is the mage ultimate, the second one, uh, which is literally a meteor falling down on people's faces. So that's pretty cool. I guess I'll summon a thunderstorm because he's weak to lightning. Oh, that was fast. I guess he kind of didn't do anything for like a turn or two. So it's kind of cool, I guess. Ah, my energy char was dispelled. And now it's back. Alright. Well, let's see how much this does. We have Dark Passenger, Energy Charge. Oh, the Energy Charge is kind of irrelevant. Energy Vacuum, the Crit Guarantee, Embezzle, and Brave Incense. This will give him an extra AP, but I really don't care. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot. That was a lot. I think I'm just going to dance into healing. I want to see how powerful this is. It's kind of okay. And so this is the strike. Yeah, it wasn't that impressive. That's okay. Now, leaning into this even harder, by the way, is an option. Um, my hesitance is that leaning into it even harder would include, wow. <laughs> uh, would include removing Aria from the equation and having Manila as the only support. And I think you can see why that would... That's pretty sketchy. Oh, well, you're not weak to light? What the? I can consume all this? Alright. You go before Kadia. Let's consume it. Let's eat it. Too much as does. 204. Non-crit. That's the synergy, I think, between the Warlock and the Apparator. Let's see, with... With Yao, 
I mean, the damage is about relative, right? Because when Yao's fully geared out, like, we could even introduce the Dancer to Yao's combination here. I do need more Cowboy Boots, though. Also, I'm coming back for other stuff at level 8. That's when I really want to see things happen. Because that's when the elites are, and that's uh, when we have all of our abilities. So, I'm not sure how we get the the cowboy boots, but I would like some. That would be nice. Okay. Now, as for... Let's get this. And we want the health skin. Now, as for... Um, my idea, my alteration to this, the charmer is good, and I think, like, honestly, Kadia might be able to be removed for... She's really good for boss fights, but I think just for usual shenanigan stuff, I think she can sit down. So if we were to edit this party, I would put Manila in the back with K er, in Kadia's place, and I would put Elaine up here in the front line with Colin. Now with this, I suppose the question now is do we want... We don't really need this now. We're a lot safer in the back, so do we want to change something? Hmm. I still want to basically always be dancing, I think. Like, either buffing or dancing, so we'll keep this for now. I definitely think with Elaine, I want two-handed. You'll see why in a minute. Or two, once I figure out what I'm doing. Let's two-hand, we'll unequip this. And then I need a sword, axe, mace, or dagger. Now, unfortunately, with the warrior, um, their indiscrimination can no longer crit. That doesn't mean it's not powerful. It just means it can't crit anymore. So I'm interested in trying something to see how effective we can make this. And then borrowing, borrowing, quote unquote, the, uh, the power up with good old Colin. I need a weapon. What a lovely axe that you have. All right. I do, I want another mithril sword. All right. I'm pretty sure that I can just make more without... Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. I did some crafting. We're good to go. Because this gives accuracy and I hate missing. <laughs> A reoccurring theme here at Babelhem. I'm also going to change the iron boots to the crown. This can be changed to... I don't know, anything. Sure, this. Have some health recovery. Honestly, you should probably get another of these. Another shell necklace. Not only because it's good for her, but because it is... Oof. Oof. I'm out of iron. Um. Oh, Kadia has one. I can just unequip. Good, good, good. It's not really good for the Charmer, but it does provide extra experience. And if we're going to be using the Charmer in the future, I want to be... Where is Kadia? There she is. I'm just blind. No shock to anyone here. Let's equip the necklace. More experience. Yeah, Maze Magic is always fine as well. Shovels, key. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, I don't need these. You can sell the keys back. It'll be at a loss, but whatever. I can. So I can go fight in the arena, and the vendors will reset. <sighs> vendors will reset as if I went on a quest, which I can then use to buy these potions to make greater regroup potions to make elixirs, to then make the thingy, the level eight thingy. I think it's the cosmic essence. Powder haste, also so good. Again, good consumables. Chimpest. 
All right, we got everything we need. We're good. We're ready. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do... Eh, you know what? I was saying that I'm hesitant to go on to this quest. What if we just do it, though? You know? What if we just go? Belaine is level 6, which is mildly concerning. Someone could be sacrificed to the Dark Gods. Like you. <laughs> I see, this is almost 4,000 experience. It's 50 50, right? Oh, it's going to be so close. I like this rash talent. Physical resist and magic resist plus 10. Harmful effect resist minus 20. On a frontliner. His timid thing. Minus 5 speed, minus 5 crit. Is this bad? This seems okay. Especially since... Eh, maybe we'll just go with level 6. Let's do it. YOLO and all that. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Let's pray. <laughs> I'm going to pray. Because we're doing this without a warlock. Which is gonna be a first in a while. And a level 6. So Colin has salvation. And peace. I love that these are improved because of his trait. Peace for Anthony and Manila also has peace. Lots of peace today. Now we are heading out. You know what? Why don't we just make another sword? Because I gave the ruby dagger to Anthony just because I didn't have anything else. But, I mean, if I have the materials, why not just make another sword? Like I said, I love accuracy. I hate missing. <laughs> so here we go. Ooh, okay. We can do this. There we go. We have reduced mana. That's fine. We have a ton of health. Elaine should be very thick. Absorb elements. I remembered. Thank you for the hot tip. Yeah, 114 HP on this lad. Oh, and we can break through these. Wow. It's like I was prepared for this. I wasn't prepared for this at all. But it's like I was. Okay, I know what I said about swords and enjoying the fact that I don't miss. But what if I just bring out a big hammer? You know? What if I just decide to smash? Come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. Don't. Mm. Is it your turn? I mean, it is. Hello. Thank you. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess I'm just going to stun him. Well, okay. <laughs> that went well. Uh-oh. What's our turn order? I really wanted a buff, but I have to remove this. Confused. Totally water atomizer. Oh, I could have used the atomizer because it would have gotten rid of the bleed as well. Nah, whatever. I also could have really used um, a double AP thing. Okay. We will go ahead and give bravery. I'm sorry. Colin, wow, you're alive. So with bravery, we actually are pretty strong. I mean, Elaine's no pushover. This could be interesting. This is four times. Let's see what happens. I immediately want to leave. <laughs> I want to leave so bad. <laughs> uh, I might just do it. <laughs> uh, 
私に任せてくださいこれできっと大丈夫ですしっかりさ息を引き締めてまいりますあーオッケーゴーガンうぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅシンパンの時が来た。はい。私の番でしょうか。I'm gonna be equipping the sword back。Definitely be equipping the sword。I think I'm just gonna defend with Colin。残月よ。そして焦点の道を歩むのだ。シンパンの日だ。こ、うん、の時を待っていました。I definitely feel like I should have sacrificed. What's her face? Gloria. We're spending a lot of resources on trying to recover from this mistake. Which I can't say I'm too happy about. But I mean, here we are. What you gonna do? I'd love to electrocute. I really would. Uh, so you have bravery for one more turn. You have a vacuum. Can I? I guess we're going to find out here in a, mo in a moment. Probably should have healed, but you know what? I am being aggressive. Wow, that defense was good. Maybe I should surrender. No, I don't want to surrender. That's not something I want to do. I'm not interested in that. Let's see if we can... Do some lightning stuff. Nope, no. Okay. Oh, you're gonna lose these like right now. It's very unfortunate. Hey, look, you hit. I'm so proud of you. I'm not. Okay, I'm proud of you again. <laughs> If I hadn't hit him with that one thing, that would have been a one shot. Okay. So the sen we didn't get the synergy off here, but the idea is that we use Monopolize to steal all the buffs we put on Elaine to make him effective. Make Elaine effective. That will then make Colin super effective. And we all, you know, go about our happy day. Fortunately, that is not what has happened here. Can I just hit you? Okay. I'm definitely re-equipping the sword. Because <laughs> I hate missing. And missing four times in a row just tilted me sideways. Like, I was almost ready to just leave this zone, but... We will... Strive... To do our best. We don't give up when we face... Challenges. We double down. <laughs> <laughs> we go all in. If we aren't dead, they're gonna be dead. Good resisting, though. I do still have um, additional aggro on our good old dancer, so that wasn't too surprising of an attack. I guess I'll try and decapitate you. I'm unsurprised in the result, but I tried. Unfortunately, I can't mindfulness myself. So I'll mindfulness Colin. See if we can get him on the road to doing things. It'd kind of be a shame to uh, steal buffs for this for trash, but I guess we're going to see what happens. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That was 
I know the goal here was to make that mildly more impressive, but it wasn't. It wasn't at all. This probably isn't gonna work, but let's see what happens. Ow. No, let's heal a little bit. How long does this last? Two more turns? Okay. I just use the mana and I'm gonna kill it. Hmm. So the reason I was using Elaine, I mean, besides the fact that he can contribute damage, is Elaine can use Indiscrimination, which, even though it's worse now, it still can do damage, uh, which we saw it do. Nice, we rescued her cook. So I can sacrifice Gloria now. <laughs> always pet cat. Sometimes get scratched, but always pet cat. That's why I have atomizers, honestly. I'm a little bit worried about Colin's health. But hey. So I have atomizers. Oh, another priest thing. Maybe it's a sign from the game. Maybe. I should have atomizers, but I'm really going to use four of these. I'm going to do it. Are these turns? Hmm. I also have a lot of healing powder. So. I guess the dancer is not particularly useful in this zone, is she? Because she makes it so that searching is free, but we don't have a whole lot of options to search. Oh, I never equipped this. I think I can now, though. Two of these, two of these. Let's see what happens when we start throwing things into the random RNG fiesta. Honestly, I shouldn't be throwing away my extra resistance rings. But hey, here we are. Shouldn't be doing and going to do something are two incredibly different things. All right, you need this. Here we go. And you have the crown at the moment. I'm finding you undeserving of the crown, but I see you have the crown. Is anyone else suspicious of what just happened? Because I am. I also realized that without... <laughs> I was just about to say, without the Warlock, I can't... We can't fi see the, the bonfires. But hey, now we can. Burning is unfortunate. Burning is very unfortunate. I suppose I can absorb those. I can, I didn't, but I, I can. Oh yeah, I have no mana. That's a thing. Can you restore mana? I don't think so. No. Oh well. We'll try to pull off the combo we've been working on for a little bit. We're probably not going to be able to, but I would like to try. Alright, we have guaranteed crit, the one thing. Oh wow, that was pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to see them die to a BI, you know? Um, I also just realized this probably isn't going to work because of how the turn order is going. Because I would need... To steal the crit buff, I would need Anthony to go before... This guy, which he does, but then I would need Colin to go bef before him. Wait, what? I mean, Anthony to go before Colin, which is not how it's going at the moment. 
What's happening? Oh, yes. Am I ready? I... I don't know. Oh. This is reducing the healing. I miss Kadea. <laughs> and you know what? That's okay. Sometimes you test something and you fail. You know, that's how it be sometimes. I think that's how it be right now. So we're going to go ahead and... Your hero's mental state will be greatly damaged. How greatly? Like, 15%? 30%? Alright, maybe we'll just keep going. I noticed that uh, Manila was talking about digesting stuff. Oh, another mage! Nice. Um, I don't think it actually said what in the, in the text what she was talking about. She was talking about the snake. That's what heavy means. I'm gonna YOLO... Should I, do I, what's even the point of yellowing these? Because these are basically like the highest tier rewards, right? So basically I should yellow these in search for more of these. Seems like the play. Here, I have a poop of I'm probably not going to use it. Honestly, I should be using these harmonized teas, so I'm not going to throw that away. Ooh, two dragon blood. Now that's hitting swell. All right, we've recovered our mana. We've recovered from the dastardly situation we found ourselves in. So let's not do this again. And by this, I mean the tragedy that befell us at the beginning. The tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? No. I thought not. This is the story that Jedi would tell you. I'm just gonna poke him with my improved power and hope it does something. Okay. I mean, that was. That was respectable damage. Darth Plagueis was a dark lord of the sea. So wise and so powerful. How does this work? He could change the midichlorines. He could use the force to manipulate the midichlorines and create life. Wow. He became so powerful that the only thing he was afraid of was losing his power. Which, of course, eventually he did. Kind of skipped over a few parts. <laughs> what happened to him? He became so power. Oh, what happened to him? Unfortunately for him, he taught his apprentice everything he knew. And he killed him in his sleep. It's ironic. He could save others from death. But not himself. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. I feel like... I've made a lot of YouTube videos. And I feel like more YouTube videos have been made on that scene. Because it's like that important to the... The prequels. Wow. I don't know why, but that was a lot less damage than I was expecting. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. You... Alright, I think indiscrimination is just neutered now. 
I'm pretty confident in saying that. Don't blind Colin. Good. Because I'm killing this guy. Are you serious? Four hit points? Wow. Alright. <laughs> I was so mad. Mad isn't the correct word. Tilted that I tried to kill it by poking it. And as you can see, that went swell. No regrets. I'm literally going to farm health off this thing. So, maybe I shouldn't. I do have a... Um... Wow. Your damage is remarkable, Anthony. Wow, that was one overkill. Uh, we have a bonfire next to us. I just don't know where the boss is. Ooh, Robes of Light. Nice. And I'm afraid that I'm going to find out real quick. We're looking for the cult shrine. And I'm like certain it's right over here. Oh dear. Pearl's energy is too strong, so I need a runestone for that. Oh, hi. They usually put a bonfire right before the boss, right? Oh, there's the runestone. So, it wouldn't be the most absurd thing to imagine that the boss is right here. The downside is that if I sit at that bonfire and this isn't the boss, um, we might not have enough energy to get through this entire place. I don't have a sub goal or anything. I don't think it's on the other side of this. These are usually like secondary things. Like fun little... Ugh. I don't have holy water or theola. There's no way this is the boss, right? I'm just gonna go on a limb and assume it can't be. Otherwise, we might be in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Colin's going first, right? I saw the turn order for a moment. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Do do do. Oh, it's this. I was like, what is the thing? That thing. The fact that indiscrimination can't crit anymore is much bigger of a deal than I thought it was. Oops. Whoa. I didn't mean to click that, but I'm pretty sure this can just kill them. Yep. All right. Now we just poke these to death. And move on with our lives. Colin? If you're having a bad day, Colin, you can tell me. You can tell me. We've had a bit of a rough one right now. You know? You have no AoE damage. Elaine is not pulling his weight. He's no Yao. I can understand where this is coming from. And I haven't even gotten the combo off. I think I'm gonna lightning them. Yeah. I'm gonna lightning them. <laughs> and then I'm gonna lightning them again. I'm at that point. This is deteriorated to me just having fun. Which, is that a deterioration really? I don't think so. I don't think it's a deterioration. It's a. An evolution, we'll say. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't the cult shrine something I have to click on to activate? 
I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so, because I'm going to rest at that bonfire. Can't touch that. We have holy water atomizers, but I guess those aren't interactive for that. And like I said, Dela's not here. Nor any other paladin that we may or may not possess. Nice! Calculated. Alright. So why are you so fast? You have 10 speed. You have 4. Great. Okay, so they have 10 speed exactly. Is there any way I can make you faster real quick without me doing a whole lot of work? Yes. Okay. So I need Anthony to be faster than Colin. It's unfortunately going to remove his uh, experience bonus, but I think he's pretty high up there. So what do we think? Mental control or mesmerize control? I have no idea what we're fighting, but mesmerize control is usually a good shout. Alright. There you go. Have some galoshes. Alright, here we go. Boss fight with this mixed match group composition. It looks like we found the shrine. Where were you here? Why weren't you... Wait, if you've been here with me the entire time, why can't you bless the... the... whatever. It feels so strange in here. And perhaps it's because the dimensional crack is... open? Uh, what's that? Oh, it's this dude. So you are Princess Arya. Huh? Who are you? I am Ezekiel, the cult's strongest warrior. People who talk themselves up like that usually disappoint. <laughs> your tin can talks too much. I have business with your master. Be silent. Where is Axum? Oh, what a stupid question. I hope you're not expecting an answer. <laughs> Whatever. How about I tell you if you can beat me? You certainly seem confident. Do you mean to fight us head on? <laughs> It'd be so boring for me if I just went right for you. First, let me see if the rumors about your power are true. Come, feel the power of the Ascended. I'm so glad I brought Golan. Alright. Okay, hold on. I can't do this turn one because I have to control Demon. It's kind of annoying. Um, how else do I want to... They're weak to lightning, right? Okay. So, I might just... Question mark? I might um, just haste Arya for turn one. Get some thunderstorms rolling. You know how it be. Wow, I'm so scared. Looks like Mesmerize Resistance was a good shout. Wow. Wow. Alright, um, first of all, thank you, Anthony. Second of all, uh, goodbye. And we're definitely war dancing on... nope. That one. Brave Incensing. On a lane. We're going to go ahead and punch the one that is not mind controlled. That's annoying, but it's not like, problematic. Effect chance 34%. Wow, that's, that's low. We can get the mana rolling on Colin. That's probably a good idea, honestly. I might just bibbity bobbity zap too. That sounds fun. Oh, it's armor break as well. Make the other demon more effective at hitting it. I say, and then it dodges. How long does this last? Three rounds? Okay, pretty good. Pretty good! Okay, so now... In a perfect world, 
We have basically everything. I'd like to lightning weapon as well. I think we'll energy vacuum. Eh, maybe we should have weapons. Because energy vacuum is not going to do a whole lot of good here. Well, yeah. It could. All right, let's see how this works. So Monopolize, we copy all buffs that are on our friends to ourselves. There aren't a whole lot of them. So we just get Brave Essence and Vacuum. Okay. And I'm at War Dance. Maybe I should heal. Yeah, right. Ow. Oh, it kind of hurt. Not gonna lie. Maybe I should heal. Wow, crit the other one, please. Although, to be fair, this does allow for this. 1699. Nice. That is slightly more problematic. But, eh, whatever. So now we're going to lightning weapon Colin, and I want Colin to hit the other one. Oh, I want to spell my war dance. Alright, so we're going to decapitate the one under our control. Throw two more rounds. Okay. I am not mad. Mildly irritated <laughs> is a good way to put it. Um, I mean, sure. Increase my ultimate recharge rate. Because I'm this close to giving up on this Monopolize combo. By this close, I mean my fingers are touching. Basically there. I liked the original version of this better. Also because Kadia was here, and that makes me happy. This turn, I'm gonna have to sit around. Also, I'm gonna have to fight after this, right? Alright, now we switch targets. I'm gonna let What's Her Face give me mana. I'll just defend. Yeah, you. You are what's her face? I wonder if I could embalming essence. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna heal. I was wondering if I could embalming essence the energy vacuum for it would last for two actions. Pretty interesting. Do some attack stance, Rel and Eline. You don't do a whole lot, but if you can do something, I'd appreciate it. This is lightning. You're about to be unmind controlled, so I might as well smack you with it. And it's a free action, so why not? <sighs> I'm going to find an accessory that gives. I'm going to find an accessory that gives accuracy. And I'm going to give it to everyone that has ever thought about attacking. Here, be interrogated. You have five stacks. I don't know if that's for you or for me. That's okay.
think I'm gonna mind control him again. So that's cool. It is worth noting that with builds that attack multiple times, like do weaker attacks multitude of times, um, destroying armor is more important than not. I bet Arya is thinking that she does literally all of the work. I mean, you know, if she wasn't a goody goody two shoe, I'm sure she would think that. I'm not going to embezzle because I don't know what's going to happen here with Colin's HP. He might just roll over dead. Wouldn't it be nice if this dude is such an addict to fighting that he heals everyone to fall before we fight? Wouldn't that be great? That'd be great. That seems like an anime thing that'll happen. <laughs> Could happen. Now you may notice that I haven't used my ultimate button at all. And that's because I was trying to set up for a remarkable a remarkable monopolized turn. And that just never happens. You know? So here we are. Missing with <laughs> Missing with decapitation for the second time now. Not that I'm counting. Are you counting? I'm not counting. Didn't I just beat the crap out of one of these things too? I think that's the funniest part about this. I'm also very tempted to just press heroic stamp, strike and kill him, but I'm saving it. Because there's a boss fight that's gonna happen here in a hot moment. Moment. Minute. This does what I think it does, right? Yep, okay. We're gonna be using that for the first time ever. I'm pretty sure. Unless the anime moment happens. Which, like I said, is a possibility. What mastery do I have equipped with you? Wow. I mean, he still does respectable damage, it's just... Setting up combos with him is... Mind-numbingly challenging at the moment. Maybe it's because it's me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Who knows? I don't. I just know. That I'm about to eat one of those stars of the universe or something. <laughs> Already is panting? It seems the rumors were true. Managing to defeat two pit lords. Not bad. And you watched the whole battle without running. Lord Axum's orders for me were to withdraw. And yet... Uh, I can feel the longing in my bones. I must fight you myself. What? It's not every day I get to dye my fist with royal blood. Come, let's battle. He's attacking us. No shit, Sherlock. Which of you do you think is the strongest? Well, not that one. Not that one either, but he survived. Alright, so we're eating the star of the universe. <laughs> Sounds terrible. On my new this turn, I'm going to take this opportunity to go ahead and defense. Also, he's weak to darkness. Kadia, where are you at? <laughs> this is coming off, I guess, him. Anthony again. Yeah, I, miss, I think Kadia is an important part of this. A parator thing. She's missing and everything is gone. To shit. Quite fast. I think we're using the ultimate dance thingy too. Here we go. Let us go over the demonic brands. Pretty good. I'm glad we had two of those. Alright. So we can mass snake pot. That seems not so great. We can give all effects of the mysterious S incense, which should do a number of things. 
go, go this one. So, absorb HP, increase accuracy, increase armor, recover HP, increase speed, increase crit rate, and multiply. All right. So, the lady with the green bangles. That's what they're called, right? Or a bangle like jewelry. Oh, no. Bibbidi babbidi smack. Wow. Ah. Hey, look. I have a thing about this. Really? 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 Isn't it? Isn't fear a 50 50? It's a 50 50, and it rolled 50 50 on all of them. I'd say that I'm impressed if I wasn't not impressed. <laughs> I say that I'm impressed if I wasn't upset. And he has two more turns. I really want a Holy Water Atomizer, but I also don't. Here we go. I have three of them, so. Oh, he's exhausted. That's cool. And my supposed heavy hitters are on the ground. All right. I guess I can haste you. Wow. I feel so very effective at the moment. Well, I'm going to give him extra AP because he's exhausted. So, there's that. I'm also going to summon a Thunderstorm. And we're going to War Dance. That was not what I meant to do, but hey, here we are. War Dancing. All impressive like. Thankfully, it didn't have the less than 50% thing, whatever that was supposed to do. I'm assuming nothing good, so... Thankfully... Wow, that was a good crit. Thankfully, he's electrocuted, so I'm gonna go ahead and just assume he can't do any of that weird roaring crap. And by thankfully he's electrocuted, I mean he was electrocuted, and here we are. Um, I could vacuum his indiscrimination. Not that. The other thing. Sure. Overpower, is that what it's called? So about that additional evasion during dancing. Eh. We're beating him down 100 HP at a time. Is that really that bad? I probably should abuse the power. We know what's coming. I'm gonna use her as a buff bot. I'm not healing with her. I don't want to be feared and stunned and all sorts of crap again. This. Yeah. I like how the person that gave everyone the debuff resistance still got stunned. I could totality this. No, I can't. I thought about it. And that's what matters. Oh, okay, that's not what I thought it was. For a second, I thought something really cool happened, but it didn't. As usual. Um, I might as well try and fear him. It's probably not going to happen, but here we go. I'm pretty close. I'm trying to think of what, how I want to... <sighs> what ultimate I want to use. Like, I could use... Elaine's. I could also use a giant meteor. I'm gonna do a number of things. We have options. Oh, could you imagine if Kadia was here? Look at this. Look at this row of debuffs. She'd have a blast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I only have one more star of the universe or whatever, just so we're all on the same page. Supplies exhausted, target stuff. What's that do again? Convenient that I can check right now. Okay. I'm gonna get haste. 
If I give haste to Manila, will that wake her back up? <laughs> Here, have some propaganda. I was about to say it's good for the soul, but it's really not. Oh, I want to press this button. I think I'm going to. I mean, now's the time to punch him really hard and everyone's dead. You know? Mildly tilting. Alright, get back up. Onk. Wow. Yeah, this has gone very poorly. For the record, this is not a how to fight this boss. This is a how to really get messed up by this boss. Like, just relentlessly. Relentlessly screwed over by this boss. I think the warrior is now just like a strictly sword and board character. I certainly don't see him as anything else. Can I totality, mirage, and then weapon? That could be fun. Maybe I should have condensed. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm just worried. I'm lost without Kadia. See. Let's start a thunderstorm, because I can res with what's her face? Just kidding. I could have if she wasn't feared. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get it down 30 damage at a time. 30 damage at a time. The problem is this is the risk, right? The risk with, uh... Trying things in an environment like this. This is the best option we have, I think. Oh, I needed to use an item as well. Oh well. Hopefully, the dance will be enough to keep us moving. Do even bezel? Do for one more round. Am I borrowing Anthony again? I'm just gonna try and poke him. He's out of he's out of armor, so I mean that was decent. We'll try ice. Me. I'm not horribly impressed or expectant. Oh dear. Mm. <laughs> Not having like a priest or a paladin is making it very challenging for me to just get strong enough. Like the druid can heal. But she can't heal in the same way they can. It's not like an instantaneous yeah. effect. Hopefully fear does something. Oh, it did something. <laughs> and he feared as well. It's like, oh, that's a good idea. Let me fear. Thanks for reminding me. Am I really about to do what I think I'm about to do? Son of a... 
I just want everyone to know that it's mildly infuriating that I had to do that again. <laughs> but I'm here to win. And sometimes that means... Unfortunate things. I'm here to win before everyone gets really bored. Like, if you haven't left yet, congratulations. Hello. I appreciate you. But, uh, I feel like I would have checked out a while ago. And I'm trying not to myself. I completely understand if you have, though. Uh, I guess I might as well have use of power again. I don't want him doing stupid stuff. And I don't have any buffs. I should have miraged Colin. Because I don't want to lose the two charges of energy I have. It's like he heard me. Well, I've learned a very valuable lesson. So, I hope that's consolation for this episode. Probably gonna be the title, too. I've learned a very valuable lesson today. This, unfortunately, indiscrimination is probably doing more damage to overpower because we're half health. Wow. Thankfully, he's electrocuted. Well, he was electrocuted. I stand by that. See what Colin can do with haste. Maybe he can do something useful. We have the crit. Please don't miss. Alright. Thank you. Oh, there's the crit. Oh, she's dead. Oh, he got his arm. No, he didn't. So he got his armor back. But no, he's good. It didn't chain for too long because it doesn't have any buffs at the moment. I had to say something. I had to say something, didn't I? Don't you... I might... I might be able to... Yeah. Atomizer, go! Damage, we need to go right now, all of you, even you. No, you need a ward dance. Do something helpful. He's exhausted, punch him, punch him real good. Okay, wow. That was a long fight. I think if the warrior ever appears again, it'll be as a sword and board. Wait, we actually killed Ezekiel? We're breathing heavily. No way. No way. I... Now accept your defeat. What? You're telling me the great Ezekiel to surrender. I will make you regret this humiliation. Take this. The power of Enyalius. What's this? What's happening? I don't know what you're trying to do, but I won't let you. Oh, is Colin going to blow up? Sir Colin! Rest in peace, you monster. Or did he stab him? Thank goodness we managed to take him out before he got out of control. <laughs> what was he trying to do? Who knows? You just can't tell with them. Something well beyond our imaginations, no doubt. Regardless, I bet he has information that is key to understanding the cult. Interrogate him thoroughly and get that information out of him. Interrogate? You don't mean... That frown. Sir Colin, are you going to torture him? No. There are many ways to get information that don't involve violent methods such as torture. Don't worry. Then how are you going to get it? Mind control. That's not something to speak of in front of a child like yourself. A, a child? At any rate, 
Let's restrain him and return to the village. You're right. Let's go. You're right. Let's get out of here. Elaine, I'm going to sacrifice you. <laughs> wow, the air is so nice and clean in the village. Maybe because of all that sulfur we were breathing. It sure seems that way. Clerks don't have to follow us everywhere on a mission. Why don't you just stay in the village? <laughs> what are you talking about? I have a duty to record everything Her Highness does. <laughs> uh, I suppose even you can say the right thing, though rarely. I'll take Ezekiel to the jail and prepare for the interrogation. You won't use violence, right? Don't worry. I understand. I'll believe you, Sir Colin. Well then, excuse me. Colin left the party. Give me my stuff back! Should have unequipped before we left. I should pick up before we left. But don't you think it's weird? Why is it okay to punch each other as much as you like while you're fighting, but violence is bad all of a sudden during interrogations? Jerome, you can't honestly be asking that as if you don't know the answer. <laughs> but I mean, it's contradictory. It is. I was taught a long time ago, against those who are unarmed or have lost their will to fight, do not use violence. Unarmed, huh? Those impressive muscles of his must count as a weapon, surely. Oh. Torture is classified as a war crime, though since he's a heretic, his case would come under the religious law and not military oh. law. And committing evil in order to destroy another evil is not an acceptable solution. Oh. I agree. Yeah. Oh, what's up, your highness? Yeah. <laughs> she terrified Jerome. Hey. Seems you've been busy recently. But no matter how busy you are, you gotta visit the black market sometimes. The royal family needs to look after us small traders. Oh, what nonsense. Come on, paladin lady, why do you always gotta be so... Uh, not him again. Hey, stop by the black market later, there are some things I need to tell you. Bye. Hey, where are you go- uh, She's gone. I wonder what she needed to tell us. Were you talking to someone just now? We were talking to Sir Colin up until a moment ago. No, no. Did you see a girl wearing a black hood? Where did she run off to? If you're looking for a girl in a black hood, she just went that way. <laughs> really? Thank you, Tila. Now if you'll excuse me. Did she point him in the wrong direction? Are they playing tag or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who knows? Well, I told him she went in the opposite direction, so that should give her a little time. I wonder what she wants to tell us. Let's hurry to the black market. Please don't make it my stuff back. Please don't make it my stuff back. Please don't make it my stuff back. I think I did. Yep. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help. What did you want to tell us? Huh? Hey, you can at least say hello. Why are you always in such a hurry? One of my sources brought me this. It's supposedly a letter to Highness there. I don't know who wrote it, but the soldiers check everything that arrives in the village. So maybe they didn't want any soldiers seeing it. That means... It might be a message from Dietrich. Let's read it. Midnight at the entrance to the abandoned court castle. I'll wait for the owner of a cold heart. A cold heart? Do they mean the artificial heart? It's definitely Dietrich. What should we do? Uh -huh. Hey, what's that? Sounds like something interesting going on. Hey, let me in on it too. Uh, Nadia, this is of no concern to you. <laughs> Come on, I was just joking. Why do you always have to be so serious? I don't even want to go to that dirty old castle. <laughs> it's not that I think you're going to leak this to the subjugation force, but I need you to keep quiet about this. <laughs> Don't worry, I don't intend on going around blabbering about other people's business. Alright, that puts my mind at ease now. Lady Aria, Sir Colin is interrogating Ezekiel right now. This is our only chance to meet Dietrich. I agree. Let's hurry to Court Castle. Alright, what did we get from beating What's-His-Face? I'm sorry that took so long. Holy crap, that... That was worrying on my mental resilience. We have the Berserker's Necklace. The next is made of a canine pulled from a dead enemy's body. Attack power plus 8. Max armor minus 3. Speed plus 8. Crit plus 5. Have a 30% chance of acting on... Oh, is that stupid? No. 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 The Berserker Bell. 
Attack power plus 8, max armor minus 3, speed plus 8, crit plus 5, have a 30% chance of acting on your own. I don't know why I'm surprised, but really, no. Thanks, lady. You've helped out a lot. I appreciate you. Shovels. Alright. Well. <sighs> what were we even doing? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually very interested in Yao, you... Katia, come back to me, please. Thank you. I never want to see that dirty warrior again. Ugh. I'm really disappointed in you, Elaine. I thought maybe there was some saving grace left for, uh... Oh, Marcella. This is the cook that we rescued. Vasilis is the mage that we rescued, so we now have two mages. So we could do some double mage shenanigans. I mean, we already could, but now we can do it with level 7 mages. Which is like one of them energy vacuums, one of them weapons in place of having a warlock, but I don't know. I don't know if I can go with <laughs> without Kadia again. Where's that? Okay. Honestly, she deserves a better weapon, though. She really does. I don't have, a, like, a sword or anything gives effect chance. Plus five effect chance is, like, a big deal for freaking warlocks. So, I don't know. She deserves a better weapon, but I don't think we have one for her. Anthony... Whatever. <laughs> Welcome back, Yao. I've missed you. What did we have here? The boots. Yes, you don't need these. You need the boots. So next time, I'm actually quite interested in trying uh, Charmer Monk Frontline. I think this can go, and I think uh, this, yeah, that can come in. Double Evasion Frontline. Bring back memories of yore. Specifically, Banshee Frontline that died a hundred times. Shouldn't have said that out loud. But anyway, you get the point. Um, can you... What am I talking about? You can wear the Hell Armor, but why would you? You have this. Okay. So that's it for today. We, uh, we've learned a lot, haven't we? We sure have. We sure have. Uh, let me know. Like I said, I'm very interested in going to the arena once we're level 8, once we have all of our abilities, once we're settled on a composition. We're an hour and 23 minutes in, so I might as well keep going. <laughs> just while, just to talk. Um, okay. So, conquest mode. We've done up to three victories. Our high score is apparently four. This is basically combat after combat after combat after combat. It's horde mode. And I really want to do that with Yao, our Yao-centric composition. At least... This weapon, oh, it's beautiful. But besides the weapon, um, I'm interested in unlocking the rider. I think what this is, is it's challenge mode rider unlock. I don't think you can get him as a character. That doesn't make any sense. But we would be able to fight him in the arena, which is interesting to me. I wonder if it's this guy. It would make sense, right? He's like technically a god or something. Anyway. I'm interested in doing that once we hit level 8. I'm also interested in reaping some of these rewards. We've actually killed three bosses here. And we're very close to this one. We could probably knock out a few of these next time. These, like, level 6s? Like, ugh. Five victory. Boop, boop. Done. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, then we can get to 10. Can we get to 20? Probably not. But uh, elite combat starts level 8 as well. That's why level 8 is, like, the magic number for me. And uh, why... We'll be back later for this place. So thank you all for watching, if you're still here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, science has succeeded. I think that the potential of the Charmer is ridiculous. And I think a big plus for the Charmers, under the Charmer's belt here, is that with her dancing, her war dancing, she can also improve the power of Anthony and Arya, who can do some things when, you know, they're allowed to do some things. Nothing like Yao or nothing like uh, Colin when he didn't freaking miss. But, like I said, more options, more science continues next time. So, as I said, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed at least some of it. And I hope to see you next time. You get to go outside next time, Kidia.
I never want to be apart from you again.